everyone and welcome. Darkseid Phil here. And boy, is this going to be an interesting experience right now, ladies and gents. Right here, live on stream and also obviously on demand on YouTube. No matter how you're watching. We're going to experience Homefront the Revolution together for the very first time right here on release day. Now, the reason that this is an interesting thing is because if you're not aware, Homefront is actually a game that I played back in 2011. It was released in March of 2011 by THQ back when THQ existed and was still a popular game developer slash publisher, okay? The premise of the game was that North Korea had invaded the west coast of the United States with a military takeover, and you were one of the kind of resistance fighters going through a, a, a six to eight hour campaign trying to fend off the North Koreans. The game also featured a multiplayer aspect. I remember in particular, I really liked the campaign, even though... The campaign was kind of dragged on a little bit near the end and got repetitive. Just the premise of North Korea invading the United States, I mean, you would never think of something like that, right? And it had a lot of kind of gripping scenes, a lot of visceral stuff, but a lot of emotional stuff as well. A lot of interesting visuals. And I actually ended up enjoying the campaign of the game. The multiplayer, not so much. I thought the multiplayer was very cliche and copied off of a lot of other popular FPS games around that time. All right. Fast forward now to 2016, over five years later. If you're not aware, this game was originally being developed again by THQ as a direct sequel to the original Homefront. But then THQ went out of business. They went bankrupt. And they had to sell off all of their franchises. Originally, it was Crytek, the makers of Crisis, who bought this franchise. Then it again got sold off again. And now it's under the publisher Deep Silver, the same company that's made games such as Dead Island and Dying Light. So no surprise, the game has completely changed from its original formula. Although it's still the same premise, the North Koreans invading the United States, now apparently the game has become an open world roamer. Where you roam around looking for items and collectibles and crafting items to upgrade your weapons and to do kind of open world side missions. We're going to see firsthand what the game has become because it's supposedly much different from the original. Now, this game has been through development hell. It was supposed to come out sometime in 2015. It got delayed until early 2016. Then it got delayed again. And now here we are finally, May 17th, 2016. It's out. So ladies and gentlemen, without further ado, let us see what happens. It's home front to revolution. Let's see. <laughs> Let's see what five years of development hell have done to this franchise. Oh boy. Achieved with CryEngine. Wow, so CryEngine, remember I said Crytek? There you go. Well, the volume level seems to be incredibly low in this game, doesn't it? Damn Buster Studios is the name of the actual game dev. Deep Silver is the publisher. And they use the Cry Engine to do the graphics. So there you go. It's like the combination of three different things. Oh, well, now the volume sounds a little better. All right. So the game will automatically save your progress. There you go. Home front, the revolution. Brightness, as always, I will up the brightness by default. It looks like... Hmm. It looks like we are stretched as far as we can, so... Alright, so... There's two modes in the game. I was aware of this because I looked it up. Story mode, which is the single-player campaign, and resistance mode. There is no competitive uh, gameplay in this game. There's only online co-op, which is cooperative missions, okay? Obviously, what I'm going to do is check out the story mode. Let's go into options and make sure things like subtitles are enabled. They are not. Here we go. Apply. There we go. We're probably good in all the other departments. So, just go ahead. New game. Three difficulty levels. Recruit, Harden, and Death Wish. Let's go for Harden, which seems to be the standard difficulty. It started back with the Apex Corporation in the 70s and the birth of Silicon River in North Korea. Even back then, their tech was way ahead of what was coming out of America. 
We bought everything they could sell, from phones to tablets to just about anything. The Apex Kino! And when Kino. they started making weapons, well, we couldn't resist. It's the Korean now, Apple! Wars in the Middle East have been getting worse and worse. One leading straight to the next. Even after that terrible day in Riyadh, we kept fighting as our country fell apart. Huh. And still, we bought Apex to give us an edge. So it's a what if scenario. As the dollar tanked, our debt to North Korea spiraled. Unemployment rocketed, and the country was on its knees. The failing government defaulted on the debt, and the North Koreans made their decision. Aha! Every piece of technology they'd sold us had a back door. They turned off our military with a single button press. Wow! The first KPA troops on U.S. soil were said to be there to rebuild. But after the early aid packages, there was only brutality. They stole our liberty and our freedom. America is under control of the KPA. But she will rise again. You are the revolution. Wonder how Kim Jong Un feels about this game. Ha! <laughs> he didn't really like uh, the interview too much a few years ago. <laughs> so I wonder how he likes this game. Oh, okay, the North Koreans are, are powerful and control America? I love it! Hello and welcome to KAC. I'm Su Bin Kang. Today's top story. Preparations begin today for the much-anticipated Patriots Day Parade. This auspicious calendar event celebrates the contribution of the liaison officers who work tirelessly to bridge the gap between the emergency administration and the ordinary citizens. To ensure the safety of the citizens during the parade, Mayor Simpson has vowed to redouble anti-terrorist efforts and has allocated additional peacekeeper resources to tackle any and all criminal activity in the lead-up to the parade. Mayor Simpson has just released the following statement. We all know only too well the threats we face daily here in Philadelphia. The bombings, the wow. shootings, all Look how well animated this fucking the guy is. National network of terror. <laughs> Rest assured, we will bring these criminals to justice. Is this guy a puppet? Jesus. Peacekeeper patrols keep our streets safe and secure for all citizens. Thanks to improved threat recognition systems in our drones, potential off, terrorists can be identified and neutralized swiftly. That fucking guy. He calls us terrorists after what he's done? He wouldn't be so confident if he knew Walker was right here in Philly. Yeah, Walker's really gonna stir things up. How long till he's due? Five minutes. Hope one of those new drones doesn't scan him. Are we ready? Geez, your tits so. hanging out further there, honey? I mean, come on. <laughs> Something, eh, Brady? Only been, what, uh, three days with us? What the hell? Look at this. I can move. In person? He's the whole reason I'm here. He's inspired all of us. Brady, can you pass me some gas? You want me to pass gas? <laughs> okay. Thanks. Whoa. I guess Walker was a legend in Washington, too, huh? I heard a little about what happened there. I'm sorry. I'm glad you're here with us now. Hey guys, there's Me something too. weird. The streets deserve. I love this low cut share. What? Shit. Is it us? Fuck. Walker's gonna be here any minute. It's a Ow. Ow. Get out. Wow, look how choppy this shit is. And this is a cutscene too. It's choppy as hell. Wow. Well, that was a good start. We're already freaking captured. What's that? You want me to pass more gas? I'll With Dutch open this whole room. Ready. You hear? Hello. Thank you for waiting so patiently. We can get started now. So, you are gonna tell me where I can find Benjamin Walker. I'm wasting your time here. The last thing I heard, Walker was down in Memphis. You know I have superpowers. Fuck your powers, you pathetic little traitor. Huh. Oh, sounds like someone needs a demonstration. I'll show you exactly how powerful I am. I take my hand, 
like this. I point. Oh wow. Barry. And do it, you son of a bitch. No. Damn. Oh. Hey, that's something. So, how about it? Are you ready to talk now? I'll tell you. <laughs> Well, I guess that's it for him. Start talking. Now it's my turn. So easy on you. No, give me the hammer. I want the hammer. Give it to me. I love it. It's Walker. Wait, wait. He did wait. Fuck you. Walker, I'm getting out of here. Oh shit. Great. And I'm the new guy too. Wow. What's the purpose of the body armor if it doesn't stop bullets? He shot right through the helmet. Oh, Walker's about to die in like the first five seconds. Oh, <laughs> you hit him with the phone? <laughs> I was stunned. There was angry birds on the screen. Couldn't believe anyone still plays that shit. Wow. We gotta get out. The guard was distracted by the online bling. Help me up. What a fucking mess. Wow. What a story. Deep Silva. Damn Buster Studios, who I've never heard of them before. I have no idea what other games they've made besides this. Home Front of Revolution. A Martin Scorsese picture. Nah, who would make this? Quentin Tarantino? Nah. Who would make a movie like this? I'm trying to think of the director. Hmm. I guess I'll have to see more of the game to make that decision. <laughs> this is the place. Should be safe here for now. But the Norks will tear the district apart looking for us. We've got to make contact with another resistance cell. Fuck, I picked a bad time to get shot. Remember these? This phone is our ticket to safety. If you can find a network transceiver phone. and hack into it, that'll connect us to the hidden resistance signal and show us the closest safe house. Here, take it. The voice of freedom. We're working blind here. You need to find a resistance stash. That should have intel on the district, including transceiver locations. But hurry, Brady, we don't have long. Woohoo! Wow, look at this. High frames per second. It's like 20 frames per second. You can do this, Brady. PlayStation 4, baby. Next gen. Oh my god, what's this? What was that? Nothing. Did I get anything? Oh my, look how choppy this game is. Only chance. I hope this is just the starting area, not the whole game. Oh my god. They will find us. Have to locate us sometimes. Philly Skylines Construction. I can tell you already the game reminds me of Dying Light, except the frame rate's terrible. Access your smartphone. Use your smartphone's journal application to recollect the journals and tutorials. Get the fuck out of here. Crouch with circle. Story of mission objectives are highlighted by star on the map. God. Run with left thumb stick. Oh my. Whoa. Holy choppiness. Looks like they're invading a building. 
They did, they went to a building. Dude, this game runs like fucking shit. I like how I'm getting scanned and didn't do anything. Completely ignored it. <clears throat> Your future is safe with us. Of course it is. So we're going this way. So the sad thing is the visuals actually aren't that bad. It's kind of cool. Look, it's like futuristic. They got all these uh, posts that come up in the street to stop people from driving freely through, through the city. They got all these monitors and scanners in place. It's actually kind of cool. Future dystopia. The resistance often mark hidden routes and access points with blue. So I guess that's since blue. Oh, I see. Blue, see? That's right. Go right to their bathroom. So far, there's no items. Silence is not consent. No water. The hell's that? Valuables can be found throughout the city of Philadelphia. You can trade them for cash at any open vendor. So that looks like an old-ass wireless modem. And by the way, we're in Philadelphia, which is interesting because the original home front was on the west coast. Now apparently the entire country is taken over by the, the uh, North Koreans. Ooh, I found one CPU. Stashes are secret locations with the resistance of stored emergency supplies and ammunition. Take anything that you need. I got a flashlight, add it to my equipment wheel. Health kit, pliers, lightweight metal. Another, uh, yeah, another uh, hard drive out of that wireless, uh, either modem or, uh, whoa, call it the journal entry. Neighbors, we at the CCC want to raise some serious concerns we have regarding the education camps. We ask you, why does the government seem fit to introduce these now? They claim the cities are unsafe and the children were evacuated for their own protection, but we believe differently. Why is no date been set for their return? Why is communication so sporadic? The truth, our children were not moved to protect them. Rather, they are now hostages to our good behavior. We urge all of you to be brave and show the authorities this tactic will not succeed by registering your disapproval with your liaison officer. How exciting. So, find the nearby KPA transceiver. <clears throat> Downstairs. Oh, they want me to go outside. Okay. So, we're in the yellow zone. I guess the yellow zone is supposed to be like the residential district from what I see here. I guess we're going back this way. Can I go inside here? Maybe I can. Yep. This girl's like, what the fuck are you doing here? Oh, I stole food from this girl. What the fuck? Oh, there's bodies here. Get out of the way, asshole. Market stalls allow you to sell valuables in exchange for money. How do you sell? Sell valuables. There, I made $105. I don't have any of these items yet, but I'm sure I'm gonna find them, so I'm not gonna buy anything yet. Okay. Use the bolt cutters on fence panels. Okay. 
Okay. Why am I doing this? Hack the KPA transceiver. I get inside this building. The gate's locked. Uh, maybe I gotta climb here. Oh look! Oh here we go. Got a platform. Oh, oh my God! Did you see that? Teleported me. Hack network transceivers to reveal nearby uh, points of interest. Anything else in here? No. Okay, I hacked it. What's that? Resistance tunnel. Look at that. So I gotta go to the resistance tunnel, I guess. You can now use the transponder in this sector. Oh shit, they caught him. I can't believe it. It's Walker. Oh my god. Shit, they got Walker. This changes what nothing. You, do? you hear me? Shit, they got Others Walker. will rise up. You can't stop. Get the fuck off me. Get the fuck up. Alright, I made 125 bucks. <laughs> the young Philadelphian new mission. Look at the resistance tunnel entrance. Whoa, the game froze completely. All right, well, let's try to get to this tunnel right over here. Inside this building, if I can. Like what you see? Oh yeah, I love what I see, honey. Oh, don't get punished because walk through here. This way. Attention. A security operation is occurring in this zone. Gee, because you know, if there was a patrol of the North Korean forces, they'd never notice this giant safe house logo that was spray painted on the side of this fucking building. Flashlight. There's nothing in this fucking thing. Are you serious? I have to open up each individual drawer to see if there's anything. Look. And there's nothing in the whole fucking thing. God damn it. What the fuck's the point of that? There's nothing in it. Open up seven drawers just to find nothing inside. Gee, thanks. Why do I feel like zombies are gonna burst through this room at any second? You can open the fridge, what's in it? I opened it and there's nothing in it. Oh. Yellow objects like pallets and boxes are breakable. Smash them using your knife. How? R3. Oh, that's not, you know, generic as fuck. And then it just completely disintegrates. The box completely disintegrates. After you smash it, look. What the hell? Anything else in this room I could take? There's a bike? Look. Aha, I got a transistor. Twisted transistor. What's this? Throw bricks and bottles to draw the KPA's attention. Ha! Oh! Amazing. There's a bottle. Anything else down here? What's this? I got a propellant! Scavenging and crafting. I guess once I get enough areas, uh, areas. Once I get enough, uh, materials, I can craft stuff. Follow the tunnel. Ooh, science magazine. What else do we got in here? 
Got any uh, penthouse? A USA fridge magnet. Very valuable. Once we're... Uh, oh. Next-gen satellites. Once we're invaded by the Koreans, magnets will become incredibly popular. Especially ones with USA flags. There should be a giant grill. They used to, like, smoke, sm slow roast, smoke brisket and shit in here. Mmm. Smoked brisket. Oh, man, now I'm getting hungry. I gotta stop talking about this stuff. Enter the low frame rate tunnel. Okay, sounds good. <laughs> 